like the Travis Scott concert, it was chaos. Like, a lot of people were throwing stuff. A lot of people was like, the streamers were, all of them got arrested. It's like crazy. I don't know if you say Lion King, but the Lion King scene with the animals come down the hill, that's what it felt like. It's a I heard somebody got head got busted. I heard a lot of people like police were trying to stop it. Arrested. Police, a lot of people got arrested. Like police were trying to stop. Like and they were cr breaking cars and stuff. They broke the windshield. They broke mad windshields. Voluntarily, no charges will be placed against you. If you refuse to leave, you will be arrested for unlawful assembly. This is the New York City Police Department. This assembly is unlawful. Be 
involuntarily, no charges will be placed against you. If you refuse to leave, you will be arrested for unlawful assembly. The city police department. This assembly is unlawful. First, if you leave voluntarily, no charges will be placed against you. If you refuse to leave, you will be arrested for unlawful assembly. This is the New York City Police Department. Earlier today at about 1.30 p.m., the NYPD became aware of a crowd forming in Union Square. It was quickly determined that an influencer was posted on social media about showing up to Union Square and was encouraging all of his followers to come to the park. There were some posts also about giving away some gaming systems. At approximately 3 p.m., the post went viral and thousands of people began to arrive at Union Square. Soon the park and the surrounding streets were overrun with people. They were obstructing both vehicular and pedestrian traffic. The NYPD responded by calling a mobilization in response to the large crowd. As the crowd grew, so did our mobilization. The crowd was swarmed when the influencer finally arrived at the park. Individuals in the park began to commit acts of violence towards the police and the public. There was a construction site within, within the Union, park, uh, Union Square Park, and people broke into the park, and they began to throw uh, articles that belonged to the construction site, paint cans, bottles, rocks. We had people walking around with shovels, uh, axes, and other tools from the construction trade. And additionally, individuals were also lighting fireworks, and they were throwing them towards the police. They were throwing them towards each other. The influencer, we were able to eventually get him out of the park and remove him for safety reasons. Our officers exercised great restraint despite the aggression that they were met with and the acts of violence they were met with. Ultimately, ultimately myself and our leadership team working in tandem with our department attorneys did declare this gathering an unlawful assembly. The NYPD offered multiple, and I do mean multiple, opportunities for the crowd to leave. We try to give them a, a means of egress for them to exit the park and exit the streets. After numerous warnings and after being assailed, hit with rocks and bottles and other debris, we started to make arrests to clear out the park. Uh, the total number of arrests is still being tallied at this point, and we're still doing uh, evaluations for some of our members. We did have members that uh, sustained some injuries out here. At this time, we successfully dispersed the park, but we still have crowds mulling around Manhattan, and we have officers following them, uh, preventing them from destroying property, looting, and other things like that. And we'll continue to be out here, and we'll continue to disperse this crowd until they're all gone.